<laughs> what is going on, everybody? It is Trave from Trave Talks here, and we are officially on the. I was gonna say season finale, <laughs> but we are one episode away from the season finale of the NFL Pickums. At least for the regular season, that is the regular season finale, I should say. And we are short one man in the studio. Larry Fitzgerald is not in the building. A big presence is missed, but Cole just here. Surprise! It's not me. I know. It's usually me that misses him. Yeah, that's okay though. I definitely yeah, have the but... most misses. You and uh, you and Fitz were actually the only two of the absences, but I mean it's fair. It's fair because me and Cam live here, so you know it's mm-hmm. it's, it's near impossible for me and Cam to miss one unless. You know, there, there there, would have been a circumstance, I guess, this week, Cam, you would have missed. Yeah, I would have missed one, because I would have been in Seattle if I would have had my car back. So, but... you know, it, it, this is a little bit of a blessing in disguise, I guess. You know, the people get to hear your voice again for the uh, second-to-last picks of the regular season. Yeah, you're not going to hear my voice too many times, <laughs> too many times left, because... I am moving. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be a special guest shortly after that. I know it's 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 crazy. I mean, it's been, you know, you're a mainstay on the channel now, and then you know you're gonna look back at some of the memories. I mean, it's crazy looking back at some of like the old crew casts that we've done in the past. I mean, you mm-hmm. the the one of the best ones I like looking back at is the almost catching the forest on fire crew oh, cast. Because we had so many people there. Yeah, yeah and we did it live. Mm-hmm. That one was pretty good. We did it live on Facebook, and we did it live on the YouTubes. Oh, yeah. We, Outstanding. Dude, I mean, we had a local audience. And, and we I had, put it on my Facebook while we were doing it. Yeah. And, dude, yeah. And my favorite thing, too, is that... Shouts out to Keystone, too. Keystone, a legend dog. She freaking in that whole thing was just on her back, just scratching around, <laughs> running amok the whole time. That that still cracks me up the most. But, again, we are here 16 weeks in. I think we only missed two weeks during this uh, mm-hmm. this global pandemic. So, I think I think we did pretty good this better year. Better than last year. Significantly better last than last year. Last year, we missed. We basically cut the season short. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, last year I think we were trying to do too much. Mm-hmm. I think we were trying to go live, and you we know, we were going live on my phone. Yeah, and it was just I think the recorded episode. I mean, this this year we're still kind of doing a little bit. I mean, we're doing it late, but it's not as hard as doing it live. Yeah, and and it was just too stressful. The shitty internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and having I mean, to it still kind of worked because I work a totally different schedule. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was nice though. I remember those we'd we'd record those at like six PM and then we'd go play disc golf all camp. You're doing DoorDash. Yeah. And you'd do it in between the DoorDash orders. That was <laughs> classic. Anyway, fun times reminiscing on old crew memories. Cam the the fans are gonna miss you. And I don't think you did anything to necessarily uh, hurt your lead this week, but there were some major, major upsets this week. One of them I want to talk about with you, Colge, and with you, Cam, specifically. Colge, because you're a Steelers fan. Cam, because you've been very vocal with how you feel about the Steelers, calling them frauds multiple times. The Bengals beat the Steelers. First off, Colge, I want to start with you. We did what do a star there? frame on that one. And we I did remember, star frame on it. I remember correctly, did. so we I kind of bit myself in the ass right there. <laughs> On that one, I should have called Bangs for the upset. I mean, that one <laughs> was I hard. The There's... Page, I called the Patriots up for the upsets. I really thought they were going to get it, but... There's no way anybody was going to pick the Bengals to win that one. Colch, did you did you catch the highlights of the game? Uh, I you caught see? some of the game while I was at work. Kind of blew off work and watched the game, but... Uh... <clears throat> Offense, defense, it's just not looking like... How we, sh- how we should be looking, you know. Our two, number one, two, and three middle linebacker are all out. Bud Dupree's out. That hurts the that hurts our defense. That hurts the defense bad. And Big Ben's just not making the throws, man. There was a he few, does this. He, he was, like, making good throws at the beginning of the season. He was, like, first in the league at getting the ball out of his hand. And... Now he's holding on to it. Now he's holding long. on to it too long and he missed open receivers like Eric Ebron was wide <laughs> open for for one play and he just tried to dump it off. It was like third down and it was stupid. 
I mean, and, Big and your Ben's receivers are, aren't holding on to the ball. Yeah, the Juju got lit up, I know. dude, bad. And then, but I mean, I don't know why we can't run the ball. We ran the ball with Benny Snell. Or Benny Snell, I believe yeah. is his name. And he averaged like 5.2 yards per carry, and he was doing good. But then we just totally let that go after halftime. Big Ben can't throw the ball 40, 50, 60 times a game. It's just not the same after his, short, his uh, elbow. That's what I'm telling you. They're literally pulling a Patriots. Mm-hmm. Watch them be knocked out in the first round mm-hmm. by a wild card team. Yeah. Watch it happen. You know, I mean, the right now they might all the Patriots. Right now, the Steelers are in a predicament where it is entirely possible that they could be the wild card team. Mm-hmm. Cleveland's playing hot. That they're is only, true. They're only that one, is true. They're only one game. There's a every chance in the world that the Week 17 matchup between Cleveland and Pittsburgh could be for the division. Oh yeah, easily it probably will be. Which is <laughs> which is just crazy. I mean, when you look at how Cleveland and Pittsburgh both both were at the beginning of the season compared to now. I mean that is yeah that yes yeah, that um w for for the Bengals was a big w for the Browns yes. as well oh yeah and big speaking w. of uh, w's for other teams that uh, you know wasn't a w for that specific yeah. team the Jets beat the Rams that was just nobody guessed it. awful no that was <laughs> literally the worst playing of the Rams I have ever. Seen them play, and that is just. I think that's because I keep talking about how clean the Rams play on the podcast. They were playing awful, complete. Uh, Maybe them losing to the Jets. Maybe that's going to show how truly awful they are. Like how beatable they can be. Yeah, how like like how I Mm -hmm. honestly how beatable they can be because the Jets are fucking dog shit. Frank Gore. I'm Don't getting a Frank down. Gore jersey because yeah. he's going to be the whole reason Trevor Lawrence. We are Trevor for Lawrence... sure going to get, have to get a Frank Gore Jets jersey <laughs> yeah. on that wall. No other Frank Gore. Well, we'll have to get one for every team he's played <laughs> we on. We could fill up that whole wall with Frank, Frank Gore Gore's. jerseys. Oh, easy. <laughs> Frank so, Gore, Fitzpatrick, we love them all. No, we'll Randy all. Moss. Yeah. This whole house going to be filled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no. Beast like that game was. I watched a bit. I watched a good chunks of it, bits and pieces of it there, like in each quarter. But oh my god, did the Rams look like they are not the? Pa- I don't feel like the Patriots. If they played them again, they could beat them. I feel like when the when the Rams beat them, that was just a spook. It's just Cam Newton is just isn't confident anymore. I feel like that's why the Patriots are losing now. He's not confident anymore. Look at the. Uh, interviews he's doing now these days. He's looking like a fucking pile of trash. He's looking down dumps. Yeah. I can pick your head up, kid. God, you might win a game or two. He is looking very sad, but this yeah. is also the Jets winning is big because it is big. It takes them out of the number one overall pick and moves yeah, the Jags team. up. Now, as a Jags fan, this makes me super nervous. Alex, <laughs> yeah, and Trevor Lawrence. Because. This is going to be the most Jaguars thing. We're probably going to win next week. We're probably, <laughs> we're probably going to win some games or something. Because I I just... We have every opportunity to completely change this franchise. To do something insane that we've never done before. We need to get rid of Gardner Minshew. Yeah, we're going to get rid of Gardner Minshew. He's honestly not <laughs> And good. he's coming to Pittsburgh. If I'm being we're honest. We're going to probably trade him somewhere. To he's, Pittsburgh. If I'm being <laughs> honest, he's honestly not good. Even when he was at WSU. He, he was oh, come no, on. He was, he was at goaded at WSU, bro. Your blood sir was goaded at WSU. Okay, WSU. yeah, but like. That's... College is different from NFL. And... At I was I don't know if it was the game that we watched. He threw like eight or nine passing <laughs> touchdowns. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's so easy though in college. Yeah, but like that's what I'm saying. Gardner Minshew is like one of the best. A lot of these, a lot, almost. I can guarantee you. I bet you, twenty eight of these quarterbacks that are starting have thrown at least six touchdowns in in their college games, and not once, but at least five times. I bet you at least. I don't 20, know about five. I bet you at least five is the worst. I bet you at least twenty eight of them have. I Sorry. wish we had a young Jamie on none, the podcast. I bet none of them throw nine touchdowns <laughs> like Gardner Minshew did. <laughs> if only we had Barnhouse. For, and then the next year we went and saw the other quarterback throw t- ten touchdowns. Yeah, fucking, oh, I don't even remember his name, mm-hmm. but he, uh, I remember that too. Yeah, that game was insane. 
But now we are down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting closer and closer to the end of the regular season, and I'm thinking as the weeks dwindle down, we're getting closer to crowning a champion of the regular season because I think we're going to try and switch things up in the postseason. Oh, we're sure going to have to do a different round. Different and round. here's what I'm thinking, too, is I'm thinking we're going to do a season finale for the regular season and obviously do something different for the playoffs, but I also kind of want to do, like, an award show where we give out, like, an MVP, you know, Offensive Player of the Year, Rookie of the Year, and do things like that as well. Yeah. So that's also going to be on the agenda, so stay tuned for that. But – Let's focus on this week, and we're going to stick with the routine that we've been doing recently, and we're going to make Cam go first. So, Cam, why don't you just why don't you just put us out of our misery? Why don't you just go ahead and go? <laughs> you know, uh, I had 133 points last night. I don't even think you guys are barely past 100 yet. And uh, I got past the single digits into the double digits again. So it hurts, you guys. You know, <laughs> it, uh, hurt, it hurts. So I'm not alone. At, I'm not just at 140. I'm above 140 now. I'm at 143, bitches. Oh, you got a 10? Yes, sir. A cool double digits for Cam. And Fitz, who is not here tonight, put together not a Larry Fitz number, but a Drew Brees. <sighs> if they're together, a Drew Brees number put together nine points. So that moves him up. To 126. No! I am gonna. Uh, there's no way. No. I can literally lose every single game next week and I can still be number one. And Treeb managed to tie Cam <laughs> and so get cool. 10 points. So I will improve to 124. Wow. Just two under fits. Yeah, we're in a race for second place. You guys are in a race for second. And I, once again, didn't have a great week. I had seven points. I'm at 113. Hey, man, last two weeks, these next two weeks, if I score good and you don't score that good, tree. I'm up there for third. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) you're up there, dude. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, you're you're on the come up. I mean, there's there's gonna be something to happen. The playoffs, you know, playoff champions still to be crowned, and the people's champion. That's, <laughs> that's always me. <laughs> Everybody in the comments, comment down below who the people's champion is. <laughs> Alrighty, so to kick things off, we do have some fudge on Christmas. <laughs> we love fudge on christmas <laughs> we love fudge on christmas sorry i had to type this out and i wasn't prepared at first so we got the minnesota vikings who are crumbling crumbling as we watch them taking on the saints who also are crumbling cold judy got this one i'm gonna have to go with the saints I don't know, man. I just have a feeling. I hate picking against my Vikings, but I got to go with Breezes on this one. Drew Brees did not look like himself in that game. No, <laughs> no he is hurt. But he that was against the Chiefs. So they never should have played him. They should have kept him bench and saved him for the play. They were going to the playoffs. They're, they're in the playoffs. They should have kept him for the playoffs. It doesn't matter if he's starting or Taysom Hill. But if it's Jameis Winston, they lose. <laughs> <laughs> like, they should have... Fuck you. Like <laughs> Jameis is the boy. Dude. They should have, for sure, even though they, Jameis, and, Jameis was on COVID. But, like, they should have had... Still the reason why he didn't play. Yeah, so the, so Drew, Ble- Drew Brees, sh- for sure, should have backed up Tyson Hill and been a backup for that game. And maybe possibly next game until he is fully recovered. Because the way he looked, his ribs are still broken. He's still in pain. He's still hurting. He's still hurting. He looks bad. (laughs) I'm going to take the Saints to win this one, too, despite that. Um, Like I said, I think the Vikings are just crumbling, and after last week's loss, I don't don't see them getting out of this rut, unfortunately. They're going to need a lot of help in order to get into the playoffs. Cam, who do you got in this one? You know, I definitely have uh, the Saints on this one, but I have an odd feeling the Vikings are going to pull an upset win by three points. 
Right? It's one of those games, I like, a like Christmas, be, Christmas miracle to keep their hopes alive. I feel like I would it, love to see it. The Viking miracle on Christmas Day. The Minneapolis Upset miracle? Upset win. Upset win. Oh. Minnesota right now, I'm calling it, actually. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the upset of the oh, week with the Baroonie on us. I'm calling that, Ooh. yeah. I'm sorry, I'm changing that on my phone right now. Ooh. I like it, dude. Bold takes mid. I totally forgot about the Vikings miracle. It hasn't happened yet this year. It always happens at least once a year. That's true. And it's bound to happen on Christmas. Kirk Cousins, bro. I love me some Kirk Cousins. Because, like, that one game, literally, Justin Jefferson was literally yelling at him, Kirk, throw me the fucking ball. Throw the <laughs> fucking ball. So, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And he's going to throw it to Justin Jefferson. Yes. To get into field goal range. To 27-24. Damn, I like it, dude. Yeah. I'm I'm excited to watch it now. I'm calling it. <laughs> I feel like I already watched it. I'm watching it. It's an you emotional know, rollercoaster. I'm in the game. We love <laughs> we, we love fudge <laughs> on Christmas, man. We love fudge on Christmas. And then we got Tampa Bay taking on Detroit. Dude, man, I feel so bad for Atlanta sometimes. They just they get in those big leads. I don't, man. And then they just blow it every single time. We talked about what's wrong with Atlanta last week. And then they go out against Tampa Bay, and they do exactly what's wrong with Atlanta. And they do it against Tom Brady, who Matt Ryan always chokes against. And It's hard not to choke against one of the greatest of all time. Fair enough. But, I mean, Matt Ryan's still doing Matt Ryan things. And I don't think Matt Stafford is playing again this week for Detroit. So I think Tampa Bay kind of handily wins this one. Cam, who do you got? Uh, yeah, I definitely go with Tampa Bay. Uh, I don't feel like Leonard Fournette uh, is going to get uh, roughly 50 yards rushing. But two <laughs> touchdowns. <laughs> Dude, that was such a lame take. Oh, he's going to get roughly 50 yards <laughs> rushing. But yes, no, the Bucks are going to win. I have fully faith in my in my Buccaneers. And Cole Judy got. I got Tampa Bay for the star frame. Five dollars charity of your choice. You know, since we didn't get a star frame for the first one, that's like the first time in like a couple weeks, isn't it? Yeah, that's now that's the um, fourth total that we've done this year. Oh, that hasn't been. That hasn't been a star frame on the opening opening week. That's impressive, ladies and gentlemen. See, Treep keeps stats. You're the young Jamie. <laughs> Been keeping <laughs> statistics. Next up, we got the San Francisco 49ers and the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals pulled it off last week. Still kind of looked a little bit sloppy. Cam, who do you got in this one? You know, uh, I definitely have faith in my Cardinals this week. Um, I don't know why. The 49ers... They are. I I can't remember who their starting quarterback is now. Nick Mullins. Yeah. No. No. He's, he's hurt. Ugly too. He is hurt, or he has COVID. Because I remember he isn't playing. Oh yeah. It's not. Who is it's it? not Jimmy Garoppolo. I can't remember. I can't remember his name. But he is a freaking. He is a nobody. And I, I'm gonna look at. Just to see how a nobody he is. See how goddamn vanilla this no one knows him. Is. Uh, CJ Beathard. I think it's no. CJ Beathard, isn't it? Isn't that the running back? Is he a running back? I don't know, man. Is, he, is that I'm like CJ Spiller? That's oh, a running dude. back. He used to have a good card on that. <laughs> dude, 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 Buffalo Bills had such iconic running backs. Fred Jackson. Shady McCoy. Dude, Shady McCoy scored a touchdown last week. Isn't he on the Chiefs? No. He's on the he's on Eagle. Tampa. He's on Tampa? Yeah, he's on the Bucks. Oh, the Bucks are going to win the Super Bowl. Des Bryant scored a touchdown on the Jags. Yeah, that's crazy. Dude, he scored a touchdown on the Jags, and then popped up a freaking screen. It was like his first touchdown in 1,507 days. Yeah, since 2017. It's not fair, but I think the the Cardinals are going to handle whoever the vanilla quarterback. Yes, it is. It is C.J. Beathard. I was wrong. (laughs) Yes, it is. Yeah, he is a nobody. They, They do have like a bunch of those average white quarterbacks Nobody. yeah jimmy garoppolo is not that bad. but jimmy garoppolo is like the head of those average he's like white, definitely nobody the king of average he's like almost like he's like almost in the next category of almost good he's the best, <laughs> right? he's the best average quarterback he's the king of mediocrity <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. He's been to a Super Bowl, and we're just shitting on the man. Like, that was, that was he probably like, has, like, two Super Bowls. Yeah, that was what, yeah, yeah, that was because of the Patriots, though. So, we can't give him that credit. <sighs> I'm taking the Cardinals. I am too. All right, and that's going to be a second star frame. Five dollars charity of your choice. Star frame. I, I like the uh, reaction time there. The delayed star frame. <laughs> <laughs> the people, the people watching are on the delay, so they'll appreciate it. Coming up next, we got the Miami Dolphins taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Cole, who do you got in this one? Oh man, it was hard. I wanted to choose the Dolphins, but. I think Derek Vehicle throws four tutties, 375 yards, and rushes for 22 yards. And rushes for 22 yards. I think the Raiders are soft as butter. I, think the, <laughs> I, I literally think the Raiders were the most pretend team in the league this year. Like, they're one of those teams... Mm. What about the Steelers? Well, the, Steel- the Steelers <laughs> put it to they put like constant wins together. Mm-hmm. Whether you want to say that about their schedule or whatever, but the Raiders now they're going to face Miami and Miami's going to torch them. Miami's got a good defense, and I think Tua has his best game as a rookie. I think he throws three hundred and fifty yards. It's his best throwing game as a rookie. Throws three touchdowns, one interception and, and it comes early to, in the game and that's like to number 24 like that rookie that they drafted um i always forget his name that's like a marty a meaty something like that oh he's like that pink purple hair i think yeah i think it is uh, yeah fucking he got ejected um not too like like early in the game i got i got flagged like early in the game last game i can't remember what's his name I can't remember his name, but he's like one of their starting corners. And he's going to get the pick. He's getting the pick for sure. And he the, is a dog, not going to lie. I know who you're talking about. I just can't think of what Yeah, I, I, can't remember, I can't remember his name for the life of him. I'm horrible with names. Horrible with names. The faces? Yeah. And then are you taking the Dolphins or the Raiders in this one? Oh, I'm for sure going to take the Dolphins in this one, Captain. I feel like the Dolphins have just a... They're a solid team right now. Uh, you are right. I think Tua is for sure going to throw for at least three touchdowns, one interception. There's going to be a rushing touchdown. Um, the, and then the Card- uh, the Raiders are for sure going to have at least 24 points up. But the Dolphins aren't going to be too far up in the 30s. Uh, it's going to be a bye-bye game. By the way, too, I just received word from Larry. He did. He found his picks. Oh no! And his phone was dead. Mm. And he got actually not a Drew Brees number, but a Larry Fitz number oh, to give him a hundred and twenty-eight. Oh Ooh. my goodness! And just to uh, just to update you here. He also is going to take the Vikings over the Saints for his upset of the week. So he echoes, um, and he says that he thinks Kirk Cousins gives the Vikings a Christmas miracle. Verbatim, exactly <laughs> what Cameron said. This is live, folks. And I think Breeze, Breeze is rushed back too soon because he's not fully healthy yet and still rusty. <laughs> that is... Literally, he almost, it's almost like he listened. He's like, here. It's like he was here. He listened to what I said, and he's like, all right, I got to copy him now. <laughs> he's, I'm found it, guys. Oh, and by the way, too, I did forget the 49ers did sign Josh Rosen this week. So, oh, they oh, did. So, so he's that, won't sure make, make, that won't make And it's it against way. the Cardinals, though, so maybe a revenge game. So he yeah. might start against, <laughs> instead of CJ. <laughs> that, was, Josh Allen's another one of those. Josh Rogan throwing on a dime. Mediocre <laughs> vanilla <laughs> quarterbacks. But he's so bad. <laughs> and, then, and then he also has the Dolphins over the Raiders. And he said the Raiders are playing sluggish and the Dolphins are playing a Red Hawk to a Tagalayova. So echoing the same thing for Miami there too. So that's all that's hilarious. He almost said the exact same thing that Cam said. So you guys are on the exact same page. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We 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 feel it. We have a good feeling. I mean Kirk Cousins when his back's against the wall, he needs to make the playoffs. I mean that man is 
That's, that's I love Kirk Cousins. I feel do like it. if he doesn't give them give them their Christmas miracle, that is for sure gonna make or break lose his job. That's true. I mean, I like, mean, they're paying could, him a lot of money, like, but that's... yeah, but no, I, he's gonna be gone in a couple. Yeah. He's gonna be gone next year or the year after that for sure. To Pittsburgh? No. Good. <laughs> he really good. Panthers. Coming up next, we got the New York Football Giants taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Cole, Judy got. I got the Giants for the upset. Man, I just feel it. I feel it in my bones. Dude, I know why you're picking this for your upset. Because I always choose the Giants. And you love upset. Colt McCoy. Oh, is... I thought Daniel Jones was I think back. Colt McCoy is the starting quarterback for the Giants. Dude, you know I love Colt McCoy. He's a Texas boy. <laughs> He's a Texas Longhorn. He is a Longhorn, dude. He he gets dubs. I chose him. I chose the Giants to upset the Seahawks, and it happened. Colt McCoy got the job done, beat one of the best quarterbacks in the league, and he's going to do it against the Ravens in ugly fashion, though. You Three know, picks. Two touchdowns. He's still going to get the dub. I think it's going to be absolutely disgusting as well, but I'm going to echo the same thing because I also have this as my upset of the week. I think the Ravens are garbage. And I think they've been garbage for a while. I Even though they just smacked the Jags, but the Jags are fucking... Like, the worst. Like, like, <laughs> if the... the Ravens are garbage, we are the fucking dub. Like we <laughs> we are literally the landfill. Yeah, we, yeah, we are what is making the world bad. Right now. <laughs> we are garbage. But the Ravens with Lamar Jackson, they're getting figured out. The AFC North is on a whole different level, and they're clearly below that right now. The run game's not working. Mark Ingram was so effective last year, and you're not even hearing that man's name. He was a healthy scratch in Jacksonville last week and the week before that. They hey, like nobody this year. Yeah, they can't get the run game going. It doesn't matter who's back there. Their defense isn't that great. And, I mean, unless you're facing a piss-poor defense. This Giants defense really isn't that bad. It's actually mm-hmm. a pretty good defense. So, yeah. They I think that, that, uh, Don't they have Martinez, that linebacker? <laughs> yeah, from, Blake Martinez. From Green Bay. The guy mm-hmm. that plays like 99% of the snaps. And he's really good, dude. He should, Pro Bowl snub. Yeah, he makes plays, dog. Yeah. You know, you know who's a real Pro Bowl snub? James Robinson. J.C. Jackson. They I gave it to Stephen Gilmore, who had two interceptions instead of J.C. Jackson. Come on. Come on. He was playing like a dog. <laughs> I like still, a dog. I still think James Robinson should have got in. But for the Giants-Ravens, Cam, who do you got? You know, I have the Ravens on this th- on this one there, Captain. Uh, I feel like there's the Ravens. Yes, they are not doing so hot. And yes, everyone knows how to stop them now. Because it's pretty easy to stop a running a mobile quarterback. You just force them to throw. And their receivers are honestly not that good. But their team is better than the Giants without Shaco and Barkley back there. So, I'm going to have to give it to the Ravens. Alrighty, and fit goes with the Ravens dominating the Giants. Mark Andrews gets a hat trick of touchdowns. Wow. Tight ends are going to go off. Coming up next, we got the Kansas City Chiefs going up against the Atlanta Falcons. And boys, if you want to talk about a Minnesota miracle, I think this game is going to be an epic Atlanta screw-up game. Like, Atlanta is going to intercept Patrick Mahomes a career high four times. Patrick Mahomes is going to be down 24 to 3 at halftime. And he's going to rally back to win 44 to 31. And the Chiefs win this game. The Falcons have the most epic blow up ever. Matt Ryan and Calvin Ridley get into a fist fight on the sidelines. Really? Cole, who do you got? <clears throat> I got the Chiefs for my lock. I'm not going to get into that too much. I think it's going to be an absolute domination. I think Patrick Mahomes is going to get benched in the fourth quarter. 
I hope because not. of how good he's gonna be. I hope not, man. I got I got a fantasy championship on the line. Cam, who do you got? You know, uh, I definitely am going to choose the Chiefs one on this, but I do believe you on that one, there, partner. I think I think it's for sure gonna be twenty one to three, not twenty eight, twenty one to three by halftime, and then by the end of the game, it's for sure gonna be twenty four to like thirty five. I think like the Chiefs like won't score a single point in the second half, and the Chiefs will score like a lot. It'll be like forty four to twenty four. Yeah, like like, like they're not going to score a single touchdown in the first half. They're only going to score a field goal. Second half, they score five touchdowns. Yeah, it's going to be bing bang boom. And Every drive, boom 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 boom, score 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 score. Quick quick, and they stop them quick too, and they're just scoring nonstop, and then boom. Easy Back. out of hand. Yeah. Quick. <laughs> and then that is going to be another score for five dollars charity of. Your choice. I think I can count on my hands about how many times I've said star frame. Well, Two. we we appreciate your uh, participation, especially when uh, Fitz isn't in the building. You add you add your vocal talents into it sometimes. All right, coming up next, we got the Carolina Panthers going up against the Washington Football Team. Cam, who do you got in this one? You know, uh. Man, Dwayne Haskins. My they made God. him throw too many times. Not going to lie. Yes, they did make him throw too many times. They made him throw too many short passes early in the game. They need to let him release that arm power. And, yes, he does have some accuracy. Let him release it under scary Terry, baby. Let him go deep under that. But, I mean, like, man, did he did not going to lie. He did. He looked like he looked like he looked promising. He, he looked, looked like, cold. He, he looked like he could grow in the next couple of years. He looked like he could grow into the next, let's say, what's a good one? I'd say Andrew Luck. He would be in the good next Andrew Luck. Cool. I'll take I'd, that. I would say. I would say either at ne- the next Andrew Luck or the next Peyton Manning with the accuracy. Yeah. Not with the touchdown. Not, not with the su- Super Bowls, but with the touchdowns and the accuracy. I feel like he's going to be like a Peyton Manning, actually. Not going to lie. So you're going to take the football team to take down Carolina this week? Yes, sir. And Dwayne Haskins is going to get three passing touchdowns. I and get- Terry Scary is going to get one. And, Mc- and JD is going to get one. And then is Gibson's back, right? Right? Gibson's I hope back. so. I'm pretty, sure if, 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 I'm pretty sure Gibson's back. He gets two. We got to score a lot of points in this game, bro. So Haskins only gonna get one touchdown. Out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the football team too. They're turning into like my second favorite team. I'm rooting for them. I want them to be in the playoffs. Super bad. I am rooting for Teddy Bongwater. So really, there's no winner or loser in this game for me. I honestly don't know, like Teddy Bong. Really, dude, I love Teddy. Teddy Two Glove. He should have stayed with the Vikings. If you never got hurt, he should have stayed with the Vikings. Even if they the Saints, he should have just stayed there. Or yeah, or stayed with the Saints. And fought Tyson Hill for the and kept fighting Tyson Hill for that job. I'd rather have Teddy Bridgewater and Tyson Hill at quarterback. Probably. Cold you to go. I'm gonna have to go with the Washington football team as well. You know, Dwayne Haskins, he looked promising, and I said he's not going to be good. I still don't think he's going to be good, but he's going to do enough to beat Carolina. Fitz is going to take Washington as well, and he mentions it is Riverboat Ron's revenge game. He's going to be mm-hmm. coaching up against his former team in Carolina for the playoffs, and he gets it done. Chase, And he says that uh, Chase Young in the defensive line is going to be the main reason. He is for sure. Uh, who would be – Defensive player, not you would need not gonna get defensive player of the year, but who? He, it's him, it's it's him all the way. Like like rookie of the year. Rookie of the year, it's probably gonna be Justin Jefferson. But, or but there's a rookie defensive player of the year. Right? Yeah, it's gonna be him. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Who else? Who else would it be? I don't. I'm trying to think like off the top. Only one that I can think of would be a, be someone that be would be anybody would be or the corner that we drafted. Yeah, or Akuda for Detroit. He's yeah, bad. or the rookie for the Raiders. Oh, yeah. Number 24. Yeah, there's a couple. I think it's, like, no competition, though. Chase Young's. Yeah, he's, he's a dog, bro. 
They, that was a solid pick for them, and I'm glad they chose. Well, they've been they've say, been investing in that defensive line for the last five six years. Yeah, and it's a D. It's a scary defensive line. Not gonna lie, they're all really good. That's a scary defensive line, and they're deep. Too. Just let, let them add Aaron Donald to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's add an X factor onto the defensive line, bro. Dangerous. <laughs> Coming up next, we got the Cleveland Browns going up against the New York Jets. Cam, are the Browns going to give the Jets their second win of the year? Uh, No. I'm going to actually lock this game for the Browns, and it's going to be blowout. It's going to be 35-3. to three. I really hope so, man. I mean, again, this would be, you know, the playoffs on the line, losing to the Jets like that, that would be a terrible thing for the Browns to go through. But that would also be a Browns thing That's to do. I know. That's yeah. that's what I'm thinking. Cole, who do you got? <laughs> I got the Browns. The Browns are going to give the Jets the business. <laughs> it's going to be dirty. It's going to be – What is think, the Browns the thing to lose? I think, I think Baker is going to be shaking his nuts. He's going to be doing that thing Colin Cower doesn't like. Yeah, he's going to just be fucking <laughs> grab his big old beady bead hammer. And they're going to give it. they're going to give the Jets the business, man. I really believe so. It's going to be big job, two hundred yards. <laughs> yeah, rushing two hundred and two yards rushing. No touchdowns though. <laughs> Kareem Hunt gets three. He and, steps out of the bounds up every time. <laughs> And uh, Fitz is going to go with the Browns over the Jets. And he says Hunt gets over 120. I'm also going to take the Browns for a star frame. frame. $5 charity of your choice. And I also want to say, too, that uh, we missed a star frame on the football team beating the Panthers as well. Yeah, $5 another, charity. So we should make that a six one because we missed the we mixed yeah, six, six dollars a charity. Oh, yeah, six dollars a charity. Yeah. All right, coming up next, a game that is very scary for me, and I really hope that I get the outcome I want. we got the Chicago Bears taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars, and just for good voodoo, I'm going to lock the Bears to beat the Jaguars so the Jaguars become that much closer to getting that number one overall pick. Cam, what do you got? You know, I'm definitely going to have to go with the Bears on this one. I don't see the Jags winning at all, not even a slightest bit. I mean, I don't blame you in the slightest bit at all. Cole, who do you got? I'm choosing the Bears. The Bears, I think they're going to get the Jags the business. <laughs> Dude, it's going to be bad. Dude, no, actually not too bad. It's going to be like 21 to 14. And then uh, Fitz doesn't even – he does. He basically said David Montgomery beats the Jags. He says Montgomery steamrolls the Jags. To a hat trick, one receiving, two rushing for the Bears to get a star frame. Five dollars charity of your choice. You know, there's not that too many star frames this, uh, this week. I feel not like too many. I feel like there's only like about five or six. Right now there has been one, two, three, four, five, six. There's been six. Three straight damn star frames so far. Coming up next, we got the Houston Texans going up against the Cincinnati Bengals. Cold are the Bengals going to repeat and no, get another upset? Win? They won't. They they can only beat the Steelers. The they Texans can only I... beat the Steelers because <laughs> the Steelers the, are garbage. The Steelers are bad, and the Texans. Deshaun Watson, two touchdowns, two hundred and forty-seven yards. Easy. To zero points. Zero points for the Bengals? Zero points of goose egg. I'm going to say Deshaun Watson and the Bengals put together a blowout morale-boosting victory to end the season. A 50-berg. First of the season. A 50-berg? A 50-berg. Bold bold prediction of the week. A 50-berg for the Texans over the Bengals. Damn. Cam, who do you got? I for sure choose the Texans, but I don't think it's going to be 50. I feel like it's going to be like 28-14. And Fitz says the Bengals and Ryan Finley with T. Higgins win in a close one over the defeated Texans that keep finding heartbreaker ways to lose. They did lose in a heartbreaker against mm-hmm. the Colts. That one hurt me watching that one, fumbling at the – one yard line. 
not much worse ways to lose than that. Coming up next, we got a hard task for the Pittsburgh Steelers after losing two or three in a row now. Three in a row, baby. Three in a row. No team has started. Was it 11 and 0 and lost three straight? Colge, you guys got the Steelers this week. What is going to be the outcome? The outcome, I think the Steelers, they're going to play better than they did against the Inspires. Bengals. They're going to be a little more inspired. They're going to drop a little bit less balls, but it's, I I don't think it's going to be enough to beat the Colts, man. The second time this season I'm picking against Pittsburgh, I think the Colts beat us in a heartbreaker. I think who who's their kicker with the glasses? Oh, Rick, or not Rick and Dude, it. he's going to chip. He's going to hit like a 54-yarder with like two seconds left. And it's going to hurt me. It's going to really hurt my feelings. <laughs> it's it's going to really hurt my feelings. And I I don't know. but Dude, the Colts are playing some inspired football. They are. They're, they really are. This look- is probably Phillips' last chance to be in the playoffs. Yeah, they're looking like one of the best teams in football right now. And I like the matchup here because it, it, throws, you, it throws you back kind of to 2004. I mean, like an old school 2006, like AFC championship vibe. Mm-hmm. Phillip Rivers versus Big Ben. Like, I mean, nothing's changed. These two are still... <laughs> Except Big Ben used to be a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, and so did Phillip Rivers. Yeah. <laughs> and they used to be a little younger and Phillip Rivers had less kids Yeah, at the time. So... But I'm going to take the Colts, too, to beat the Steelers. And, yeah, I think the Colts, man, they're a real threat to be the runner-ups in the AFC because I don't think anybody in the AFC is going to beat the Chiefs. No. <laughs> no. Cam, okay, who do you got? You know, I, I have the Colts on this one, too. Um, the, Chief, the Steelers are not looking good. I called it like a couple weeks ago. They are not a Super Bowl team. Last couple weeks showed it. Last week showed it. The week before that showed it. And the week before that showed it. And then this week's going to show it again. Why they're not even close to being a top six team. And that why they sh- shouldn't even be in the playoffs. Honestly. All right. Fitz says the Colts killed the Steelers. This Steelers team is just tired. After giving their all, after giving all the whole fucking year, and it shows on offense. Yeah, it does. And, t- bad. and TikToks, making too many TikToks. <laughs> you know, if Fitz was here, he'd be giving, he'd be giving his opinions on. And I, I honestly think stomping and doing those dances on the opponents' fields in a couple weeks in a row, that was some bad luck. Yeah, I think that was some bad it's luck. It's showing. I mean, that was bad. Tomlin's going to talk to Juju about teams, it. <laughs> teams did not like that at all. He's just a kid. <laughs> he is. He's barely older than us. Yeah. He's, the, he's literally the veteran wide receiver on our team, and he's 23 or 24. Uh, so insane. He's the oldest wide receiver on our roster. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. I mean, you need yeah. a real veteran in there. Yeah, we do. <laughs> you need someone to slap him around a little bit. A little bit, man. Someone I wish you guys like had like like Heinz Ward right now, like like Prime Heinz. Oh my god, what I do? <laughs> what I do for Prime Heinz? Mm. Coming up next, we got the battle of the middle of the pack AFC West teams. We got the Chargers. We got the Broncos. This one is kind of, you know, tossed up in the air. I think I kind of know how everybody in here is going to pick. So, Cam, who do you got? I'm going to choose the Chargers on this one, on Justin Huber. Uh, I honestly don't like Drew Locke. So I don't either. I think he's trash. I'm going to have to go with the Chargers on this one. I'm going to choose the Chargers as well. See, I'm going to choose the Chargers, too. And I think this guy, I kind of knew this is how it was going to go. And also, I want to give a shout-out to Justin Herbert, who I was wrong about. Um, And he's going to break Baker Mayfield's touchdown pass record this week if he throws one touchdown. So, mm-hmm. that's going to be cool for him. And let's see. Fitz it's going to be broken next year by Trevor Lawrence. Yep. But the Jags on their way to the Super Bowl. Nope. Playoffs. Barely. <laughs> Just under playoffs. I'll take it. Carson Wentz in the division. Because Phil Bridges will be gone. 
Carson Wentz will be trash, so we'll just have to beat the Titans. Yeah, he'll be playing against Jordan Love. He's good. No, Jalen Hurts. He's good. He'll lose. And Fitz says the Chargers win two straight against division opponents. Herbert throws four touchdowns and sets a new rookie touchdown record with one game remaining. Coming up next, we got the... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's $6. Star Friends. $5 charity of your nope. choice. Got to be $6. $6 charity of your Trevin choice. Trevin has oh, to get the $6. Dude, I know I got to. That was... Not once, but twice now. That was the... Wow. L of the season. Probably. Well, not, not, we got to make that a seven now, actually. That's yeah, that was, seven, that was seven dollars for the seven star frame. That That's was, reasonable. Just makes too much sense. Yeah, that was that was on me, fellas. Sorry about that. Won't happen again. It Coming up, happen again. <laughs> up next, we got a battle of the NFC East. We got the Eagles and the Cowboys. Cam, who do you got in this one? You know, I definitely want to choose a different team on this one, but I've been I've been looking at the Cowboys, but I've been looking at the Eagles, and it's it's honestly a toss up for me. It really is. Uh, I really like Jalen Hurts, and I like the way he's been playing. And with the Cowboys and Ezekiel Elliott, he has not been the player I've been wanting him to be. I also think maybe it's because Dak, Dak Prescott's not there today. Hasn't been in there. I think that injury kind of just shot everyone's morale down to the ground. And they're all like, oh, we have fucking Andrew fucking Dalton back here. The soulless ginger who's going to fucking make us to the playoffs and then joke. So why even try? So I feel like that right there was just a big morale destroyer. And I even, might even change it on my phone. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I talked myself out of it. I'm going to choose the Eagles beating the Cowboys. I'm going to choose the Eagles, too. I think Jalen Hurts is a dog. Like, Ryan Clark said it. Carson Wentz is soft. He's, he's, he doesn't fit Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. He's, he's not, he doesn't fit the persona of a Philadelphia quarterback. Jalen Hurts does. Like, this is a guy. I he, feel like Carson Wentz would fit perfect with the Lions. Yeah, just soft. <laughs> okay with losing. <laughs> like Jalen Hurts, man, he wins you football games. Carson Wentz hasn't been able to do that for you. And I think, you know, you should have made this call a little bit sooner. Maybe you'd be winning more football games. And I think the Cowboys is definitely a winnable game for them to do it. So I'm going to take the Eagles. Cold shoot you got? I got the Eagles. Jalen Hurts, I'm going to put the hurt on the Red Rocket. He's going to put a fucking hurt on him, dude. Mm-hmm. He's not going to give him the business, but he will put the hurt on him. And it looks like Fitz is going to take the Eagles as well. And he says Jalen Hurts is going to light it up the Cowboys and send their season packing. Hurts to Greg Ward for two touchdowns for our eighth star frame. frame. $5 charity of your choice. So we have now a total of eight star frames, which is now going to tie how many we had for last week coming up next this is a matchup that early on in the season was interesting because they were both playing well now it's interesting because they are both not playing well we got the los angeles rams taking on the seattle seahawks cam who do you got this one you know, you are right. They were both playing pretty well at the beginning of the season, and now they are playing really barely mediocre, barely playoff playoff contender teams. And uh, but the Rams, dude, just gosh, that loss to the Jets, that is going to be a big morale destroyer right there. That is just kind of ooh, it's gonna hurt them. It's, it's honestly, it, it, it would hurt him as a team. And um, I feel like, but the Seahawks, they barely scaved it out with a dub last week. Barely. And I think they are getting very frustrated with how barely they're getting it. And I think DK Metcalf is going to break the, the Seahawks record with receiving yards. Or I can't remember what record he's about to break, but he's going to break a record next game. With receiving yards, and I'm gonna have to go with the cow- with the Seahawks beating the Rams. I'm gonna take the Rams on this one. I think the Rams are gonna look at the Jets' loss more as a wake up call than 
a tough loss. I think that's what you do with good football teams. They're well coached. Sean McVay is still probably the third, third, fourth best coach in the league. I mean, you got like Bill Belichick and Andy Reid, obviously first and second. And then you probably put him in their third, fourth. So I think he's going to coach those guys up. And they still got, you know, elite players on that side of the ball. But Cam hit the nail on the head saying the Seahawks are winning games barely. And when they're losing games, they're losing to teams that are lesser than they are. And I think even when they were playing well, they were still playing down to their competition week in and week out. It's not like these the, the Seahawks are blowing these teams out. Every time that they're winning games, they're competitive. I mean, you look at the Patriots. The Patriots this year are not a team that necessarily are blowing you away and putting up great numbers. They put Cam Newton at the one-yard line. They almost lose that game. They're in tons of one-possession games, win or loss. This is a team that's beatable. They have a historically bad defense. I think Jared Goff plays extremely well this game, throws for 400 yards. The Rams defense shows up. And one of the announcers said something during the Jets and Rams game where they said that that Jared Goff is good at being a manager, but he's not good at being a shooter. And I think that's true. If you, if Jared Goff was a game-winning quarterback, Jared Goff is a top-three quarterback in the league. If Jared Goff was a guy that can make plays to win you a football game, this guy would be talked about way more. He's the best game manager to probably – play in the last 10 years because this guy's going to keep having a job he's getting paid and he's never going to lose that job because of how well he manages the game the only thing he's lacking is that way to win a game so i'm taking the rams and i'm very passionate because i still think this is a team that can win the super bowl cold shoot you got i got the seahawks on this one just like you said like they're just gonna barely do enough to beat this football team and Fitz says the Rams bounce back big against Seattle and sweep them. Cam, a- Cam Akers, too. He's playing well for them. The Ra- it doesn't matter who the Rams have at running back. Like, they he o- they always play well no matter who they have back there. All right. And now we have a very exciting nightcap game to talk about. But before we get to that, of course, this is the second to last live performance from Colge. Colge, give the people what they paid for. <clears throat> Sunday night! You hit that there, dude. I'm telling you, on the grand finale, you better be coming with that hitter, bro. You want, yeah, me, you to, you want me to warm up my pipes yeah, next time? You better definitely practice. Yeah. <laughs> You better be coming with that heat, bro. Because if it's not a knee slapper to the knee slapper... Man, I'm going to have to slap you with my knee. <laughs> yeah, you're going to no. get your face slapped on this kneecap, boy. Coming up next, we got the Tennessee Titans going up against the Green Bay Packers. D-H. D-H. No, 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 no. no. D-H, man. D-H, D-H, D-H. He is going to run over the Packers. 249 rushing touchdown. Or, not touchdowns, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. Yards. Four touchdowns. It's all going to be about him. Ryan Tannehill, he'll throw two touchdowns. Why not? Because he's a beast. And they're going to beat the Packers. Dude, the Titans, you know, fucking exactly the same thing that I said about Jared Goff. If Jared Goff had an inch of the killer instinct that Ryan Tannehill had, Mm, he'd he'd be the best of all time. Ryan Tannehill's fucking... Leaps and bounds winning the NFC West. Every year the Rams are that team. Mm -hmm. The Titans are playing fucking different. Like this. (laughs) Like like, I think that I think the AFC championship game is could be a fucking rematch from last year. I mean you look at the Titans from last year, they were surprised. They're not surprised to anybody this year. Mm -hmm. And I I don't think it comes if they are going to be a contender, they got to win these games. Cam, what do you, what do you think? I think it's the Packers. Yes, they can run the ball, but they are not going to be able to score as quick as the Packers and as Rodgers can score, and how quick the, those receivers can score. They can score quick. DH 
cannot score that quick. It takes him a good solid two, three minutes. <sighs> Rodgers, give him a minute. You know what? I think... Yeah, I think I think the Titans are going to control the time of possession. And they're going to beat Green Bay because I think Tennessee has a good defense. And you just got to you got to just hold Aaron Rodgers to a couple of drives if you control the time of possession. Ryan Tannehill's a killer. Like this is I think Tennessee's they can do it. I got Tennessee beating Green Bay. I'm going to do it. And Fitz goes with the Packers beat the Titans 35 to 30 in a dog fight. Rodgers throws four touchdowns. Aaron Jones rushes for 150 in a touchdown. DH gets 150 and puts puts him close to being able to join the 2K club. In the all right, yeah, and that was it. So a split crowd, two Packers, two Titans. I'm surprised Fitz didn't roll with the Titans. I thought that was that was prime for him to do that. Coming up next, we got a Monday night game between the Bills and the Patriots. Cam, who do you got? You know, I, it sucks having to choose against your own team. It really does because I want to choose the it Patriots. Hurts. Yeah. It hurts. Um, but week. you know, they're just like I said earlier in the in the in the podcast. Cam Newton is not looking confident, man. His throws isn't looking confident. The way everything isn't looking confident. Our receivers can't get separation. They can't get open. It's a big hurt when you lose eight players on your six players on your defense, eight players all together through COVID. It's just man. We took a big L in the off season, and it did not help without that preseason. We needed that preseason. Or we'd be a different ball. We'd be a different team. I think that'd be a lot for a lot of different teams. I think. Cold Judy got. I got the Bills, man, and it's gonna be. You know what the Bills are gonna do? No, the Bills are gonna molly whop us. It's gonna hurt. It's not gonna be a molly. Whop. I'm not even gonna watch the game. The Bills. It's gonna no, be dirty. I'm not even hurt. gonna watch. He, I think the Bills are gonna score. Did they score fifty bird last week? Last week. Forty eight. They're going to get the 50-berg this week. I don't think there's been a 50-berg at all this year. They're going to give them the business. They're going to give them the business. It's going to be bad, man. 52 to 13. Bill Belichick gets embarrassed like that, you think? On national television. Yeah, on national telly. Damn. That's going to be crazy. I'm going to go with the Bills, too. and And I think Bill Belichick goes with the face shield this week. Aw. (laughs) <laughs> to hide himself easily. <laughs> no, just the face shield instead of face mask. Yeah. Fuck, has he been switching it up each week? No. Oh. I just think he's gonna. <laughs> he's just gonna be a thing that he decides to do. Hot take. <laughs> he never like does it. that. He'll always wear the face mask. Watch more of the shield, man. <laughs> if I to score him. this, I get extra 10 points. <laughs> yep, deal. 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 Yes. But no face mask, though. Just a shield by itself. Yeah, if he's wearing oh, yeah. a shield. Just we'll a shield, man. Give me 10. Okay. What? Possible 20 point week for <laughs> right before the season. Could you imagine? It would be the, caught up to me, damn near. If I had a 20 point <laughs> week. And. Fucking Monday Night Football comes on. You see Belichick on the sidelines with a face shield. You're like, fuck. I would literally shit myself. I'd be like, what? I wonder how you guys approved it. I wonder wonder how Fitz would feel about that one. Oh, Oh, he'd agree. He'd agree. (laughs) I think he'd probably honestly agree with me. Yeah. He'd probably throw in an extra five points. <laughs> <laughs> For me? Make it 50? No. Well, no, let's keep it with the 10. Yeah, let's make it greedy. Yeah. And looks like Fitz and me are going to take the bills, too, and that's going to cap things off with a store frame. $5 charity of your choice. And we're going to cap things off with nine total star frames, and that is the <laughs> seventh week in a row that we have ended on star frame too easy monday night football games you really need to step up because that just means your matchups aren't that great 
<laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be one episode closer to the regular season finale. Cole, Jenny, final words for the people? Uh, I just want you guys to have the best day possible. Alrighty, Cam, what about you? Well, have a good day. Don't get any car accidents over Christmas. It's not fun having to wait for your car. He knows that by experience. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys haven't already, you can check out the links down below. You can click me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.